The Coconut Creek Fire Department receiving training uh, for some new life-saving techniques. It's going to help victims of blunt force trauma, and they're one of the first departments in Broward County for this training. Local 10's Andrew Perez is live to show us. Andrew. Uh, this is a really big deal. This is some cutting edge stuff. And as you're about to see, I'm actually saying that pretty literally right now. This is the type of training we do not see every day out on the field. Every second counts in a trauma situation. Critical patients need critical care and sometimes time isn't on your side. I wanted to give our paramedics one more tool in the toolbox to take advantage of and to hopefully save a life out there. Assistant so, Fire Chief Tony Chin with training, Coconut Creek says this is a game changer, a procedure typically reserved for emergency room hospitals moving right out onto the field. It's called a finger thoracostomy. We open up the chest cavity with a small incision about one inch where we can put our finger in there to let all the air out so therefore the uh, heart can re-expand and also produce a pulse. The goal is to try and relieve the pressure that can build up from blunt force trauma to the chest after, say, a really bad car crash, a shooting, or even a stabbing. We're going to put a patch on that and we're going to prevent air from going back in. But the key to that is we're going to be able to let air out. So that pressure that inside the chest is not going to build back up again. Somebody somewhere, some department is going to do this procedure and it's going to save a life. The training is extensive, overseen by the department's medical director, seen in this video. What we have here is the finger thoracotomy kit. Assistant yeah, Chief funny, Chin uh, says uh, he's been in ago, situations where the procedure could have saved a life. The goal Again, is to get these kits in um, every single right unit. Here. Something like this takes a lot of repetition, a lot of practice, a lot of training, which is one reason why we don't often see paramedics trained to do this out on the field. Miramar is the other agency that has also been trained in this. We're going to have much more on this coming up Local 10 News at 6 o'clock. That's the latest here in Coconut Creek. I'm Andrew Perez, Local 10 News.